The Israeli army announced yesterday that it carried out a second airstrike on the Jabalia refugee camp in the northern Gaza Strip on the second consecutive day, killing another Hamas commander. According to the Gaza Health Ministry, the airstrikes also killed at least 195 people and injured hundreds, prompting the United Nations to speak out. On November 1, just a day after the first airstrike, Israeli fighter jets continued to attack the Hamas command and control center in Jabalia, killing Mohammed Assar, the commander of Hamas anti-tank missile unit. The previous attack killed Ibrahim Biori, who directed the Israeli attack on October 7. The Israeli Defense Forces refused to disclose the type of weapon used in the Jabalia camp raid, but experts believe that based on the bomb crater at the scene, JDAM guided bombs were likely dropped here. And statement. The Israeli airstrikes on two consecutive days, October 31st and November 1st, targeting the Jabalia refugee camp, have killed and injured hundreds. Hamas said at least 195 Palestinians were killed in the Israeli attacks on the camp, with 120 still missing under the rubble. In addition, at least 777 others were injured. The latest move by the Israeli army has been met with strong criticism and condemnation from the international community. Many countries have called on Israel to immediately halt attacks on civilian infrastructure, especially facilities providing essential services in the Gaza Strip.